Hey guys, welcome to another Q Money P build video. I hope I'm catching you all on a great day. On this one, we'll be doing things a little bit different, so I'll start by letting you know there will be a teaser for the next build at the end of this video, which I will have timestamp. So be sure to subscribe to get notified when it drops. Also, Godfall will be on sale from now until September the 29th. 30% off for PlayStation Plus subscribers, 15% off for everyone else. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the bill. This is a Greyhawk Soul Shadow bill. Uh, I know this was popular pre-update, but post-update with this sort of Archons, a lot of people have been turning their back on Greyhawk because the perk reads, you get 223 Soul Shadow buildup if you have less might than any other attribute. Now, of course, we have plenty of uh, might augments, might items that you want to use with Greyhawk. Now this is an offset because you want to have less might to make sure that this uh, this perk works. Uh, most of us have been using Movius, myself included, to kind of, you know, because of her augment tree, it makes it easier to have less might. Now I have found a way to go ahead and do this with Greyhawk while using those items you want that have those soul shatter characteristics right so with that being said uh you know just to talk about a few things of the bill we're going to be using the polar the polarized uh perk because we're going to be switching from our main sword once we build some soul shatter uh switching to our twin dragons to go ahead and get some weapon tech because of course one of the items we're using is going to take away from um us using the lion talisman to build up our weapon tech so that's when we're going to be bu building up our weapon tech with that uh we're definitely going to be doing a lot of soul shatter and activating a lot of items so and it's going to be dependent on some of these so let me just go ahead and get into it of course you know i already gave you the perks on the sword of archons the secondaries we have there are damage to curse enemies which is helpful and crit hit chance not necessarily needed uh but definitely some soul shatter build up i wish i could go back and update that but you know most of it is what I need alright I'm using the twin dragons you don't necessarily need the twin dragons I'll go ahead and put a picture up of the other dual blades you can without the dual perks but as I mentioned you want this perk on here to give you weapon tech when you soul shatter an enemy since we won't be able to use the lion's talisman now speaking of that the talisman we will be using is the cat talisman this triggers soul shatter items whenever you deal 20,000 or more soul shatter damage now this is just wonderful because we are going to be running some soul shatter items and this is going to be triggering that we're going to be getting things like archon fury charges uh banner charges things like that and overheld i'll get into those in a second but the secondaries here are soul shatter build up and ailment power crit hit damage is not all that important here but ailment power helps and that soul shatter definitely helps the amulet we're running is the double amulet again you don't need the double amulet but <clears throat> If you get a double amulet with two soul shatter features or if you just get the one with the you know soul shatter you gain the archon fury charge or the other you know your soul shatter uh and you get a spirit ally any soul shatter item will work here that's useful to you but as far as out of the all of the amulets i had this one made the most sense for me also uh the secondaries we have is of course soul shatter build up and weapon tech charge speed to help there okay of course nothing new i have the dragon here so we're going to be healing up with that now we're running this might uh ring as you can see this is the shredden's story so we're going to get 104 percent soul shatter build up when you hit an enemy with four or more ailment stacks we're going to easily be able to put those stacks on definitely be able to soul shatter secondary soul shatter as you can see also void damage to contribute to one of our augments we're going to be running guys all right now we have the standard of the golden lion. I do need to max that out by the way, but with this one, we're gonna be having some weapon tech charge speed, shield charge speed, and archon fury charge speed. Main thing is for that weapon tech, right? Uh, we're gonna be able to get it charged, but it does help when you have that banner up to just give that boost, right? So we're trying to look for all ways to get that up since we're not running the lion's talisman. And of course, for our life stone, we're gonna be running the Eyes of Allies. This is gonna get give us 84% soul shatter buildup. Of course, those secondaries are lovely. We got crit hit chance, helmet power, helmet power again, and resistances to all. Alright. 
All right, guys, so here we go with the augments. As I always mention, we want to make sure we get our 5% to all resistances on our vitality augments, right? Five or six. Um, also, you want to make sure you cover your other resistances. If you see one that's slack, and I always say physical, definitely fire, water. But yeah, keep a look out for that. We don't want to get too hungry with power. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, let me go ahead and get to my vitality augments. I have anathema, right? So this is you get 100% of your void damage, also increases your curse duration. So we're going to be putting stacks. We want them to stay there while we're putting soul shatter, right? Also, the secondary is there. We have ailment power and resistance to all. Okay, our second vitality augment is Tarnished Heart. You get 75% curse power while you have no blessings. Now, I did mess up and I upgraded on my ascension level. And now when I hit weak points, I get blessings of endurance. So that's a gift, that's a blessing and a curse, right? Um, but yeah, so sometimes I have to watch out for that. But when I don't hit, hit the weak point, it's perfect because it's giving me that extra curse power. Um, secondaries there, we have physical resistance. I want to stay alive uh, void damage and resistance to all now with our spirit augments of course I had to throw an expanded mind reason being because I was slacking in spirit guys um, this gives us a boost to spirit and I definitely wanted to make sure I was above where my might was so this was very important I threw this here and also I have a might augment I put spirit at the bottom so I could get a boost in spirit there and the spirit augments that are adjacent to it has spirit as well but just to say that's why i have expanded mine uh the secondary is there take down elma power vitality all right other spirit i have is respite so this one you get three percent banner charge from every soul shatter and enemy remember that cat talisman guys that comes into play there all right the secondary we have is void damage of course well contributing to our other augment um also we have elma duration not too important um vitality which is helping us beat that might okay all right now we have karmic soul this restores a life stone whenever you place a banner that is helpful but we wanted to make sure we had a spirit augment so that worked fine for me there i could go ahead and get extra life stone also those secondaries are ailment power damage to cursed enemies and vitality all right and now for my mites i have well one more spirit sorry about that so i have uh primal energy gain 106 percent overhelp whenever you, i use a life stone uh, again not too important but those secondaries i have elma power and vitality all right now for the might augments i have focus so i gain 72 percent overhelp when i perform a crit hit i'm um, not getting too much crits but you know i do it help it helps um but those secondaries are soul shatter and again that spirit right and we got that extra to that spirit now next we have resilience all right, as you can see, we gain 128 overhelp whenever we soul shatter an enemy. Hence, cat talisman, you know, this wrong word, but you know what I mean. So that's helping, uh, you know, the cat talisman perk when we hit net 20,000. This activates, guys. And also, when we soul shatter in general, it activates. Um, but we get soul shatter as a secondary, void damage, and vitality. Right, and last we have ruin. Right, so we get six percent polarity charge whenever you soul shatter an enemy. So remember, we're we're uh, soul shattering enemies to get a weapon tech. Right, so whenever we switch, you know, build up that polarity. And uh, you know, as I showed you earlier, we're going to build up that polarity with our sword and getting the soul shatter up. Then when our polarity is all the way up with our dual blades, we can go ahead and do a polarity attack swap. And then we got pretty much two bars, depending on how much soul shatter we, uh, you know, done. Uh, we get two bars on our dual blades that quick. And you can fill it up if you want to, or you can just go ahead and activate the northern technique and go to work. Um, right, and then the secondary is there. We have soul shatter buildup and spirit. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the skill tree. This is another one of those times where I'll tell you it's not all that important. This is with my play style. Just to give you an example of that, I have no soul shatter, right? And this is a soul shatter build. But as you can see, it's definitely viable without filling up soul shatter because I'm getting so much soul shatter. Um, but just to say, I hate to switch it around a lot. When I'm going between builds, I like to have it uniform, so that's why I didn't build it up. But feel free to go ahead and fill up Soul Shatter and take from any of one of the other aspects I'm using. Um, you want you can add more Soul Shatter build up if you would like. To me, I'm satisfied where I am with it with the build. 
uh, but again you know you can go ahead and adjust this according to your play style uh, also just to kind of give a glimpse of my ascension level I'm still waiting to get to 375 but I'm close I'm I'm, I'm, I'm can't wait to get there guys it's just a little bit of wait um, but with that being said I do hope you guys enjoyed the bill now I will be showing you a teaser of this next up and coming bill guys and I was able to get 650 weak point damage you're right 650 weak point damage guys not to mention I'm gonna have ways to go ahead and get even extra uh, you know an increase on that damage right now if you can guess what I did to get there or if you could guess three items I used to get there go ahead and throw that in the comment I'll give you a shout out in that video guys but yeah definitely can't wait to show you guys that one all right now I do hope you guys enjoyed the build uh, definitely as I always mentioned go ahead like comment subscribe let me know what you would change go ahead and try the build guys uh, let me know how it works out after you did try out the build uh, definitely want to engage with you guys so go ahead and, and, and then shoot, shoot me a comment and I'll be sure to respond I do want to thank you guys for uh, giving me your time today and checking out the video uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one hope you guys enjoy the footage have a great day